Within five minutes, about 100 sperms reach the fallopian tube. The ovum released in the ovary is also transported to the ampullary isthmic junction, where fertilization occurs. Ovum has not completed its second meiotic division and is released in the secondary oocyte stage. The fusion of ovum and sperm is called fertilization. This can occur only if the ovum and the sperms are transported simultaneously to the ampullary isthmic junction. Fertilization is possible only during the first 24 hours after ovulation. The egg is surrounded by many sperms, but only one sperm succeeds in fertilizing the egg and the others degenerate. The sperm passes through the egg membrane, corona radiata, and reaches zona pellucida. The aprosome in the sperm head breaks and releases hyaluronidase enzyme along with other enzymes called lysins. These enzymes dissolve the egg envelopes and clear a path for sperm entry. The plasma membrane of the sperm then fuses with the plasma membrane of the ovum. This triggers the ovum to complete its second meiotic division. The second meiotic division is also unequal and results in the formation of haploid ovum, eating and second polar body. The latter immediately degenerates. Soon after the entry of the first sperm, the cortical granules located behind the oplasm secrete enzymes, which thicken the zona pellucida. This prevents the further entry of other sperms into ova. The sperm nucleus moves to the egg nucleus and it. This is called karyogamy, which leads to the mixing of genetic information of both the parents. The resultant cell is called zygote, which is deployed. Following fertilization, the zygote undergoes repeated mitotic divisions called cleavage. This occurs while the zygote moves through the isthmus part of the fallopian tube towards the uterus. First cleavage is completed after 30 hours of fertilization. Zygote is divided completely into two. The daughter cells from during cleavage are called blastomeres. Second cleavage is completed after 60 hours of fertilization. On the third day of fertilization, embryo reaches a count of 16 cells. The structure looks like a mulberry and is called Morduna. It is still surrounded by the zona pellucida and reaches the uterus around 4 to 6 days after fertilization. As the Morduna enters the uterus, it gets rich supply of nutrients. The outer peripheral cells enlarge and flatten further. They form a trophoblast or trophectoderm. The trophoblast cells secrete a fluid into the interior, creating a cavity called blastocele. With the formation of blastocele, modula is converted into blastula. This is called blastocyst because of the peculiar cyst-like arrangement of blastomeres. The blastocyst has a single layered wall, the trophoblast, and a group of cells attached inner to it called inner cell mass. The zona pellucida disintegrates, facilitating the rapid growth of the embryo. The trophoblast then gets attached to the endometrium and the inner cell mass is differentiated into an embryo. After attachment, the uterine cells divide rapidly and cover the blastocyst. The blastocyst become embedded in the endometrium of the uterus. This is called implantation, which leads to pregnancy. Normally, implantation takes about 10 days after fertilization.